Hi, and welcome to Marfolio Board. In this video, we'll learn how to cut out the background from any image using the magic wand, the super eraser, and the magic knife. These are all located in the new cutout tool. Let's get started. Our first example that we'll look at is a living room board where we have a sofa that is on a white background and we would like to remove that. That way we can see all of the other pieces of furniture that are around it. First, we'll start by selecting the image by tapping on it and then selecting the cutout tool button, which is located in your image toolbar here. When you tap that, you're brought into the cutout interface. You'll see at the top, you have three options for different tools, your magic wand, your super eraser, and your magic knife. You also have a reset button over here that will bring you back to the original state of the image if you wish to do so after making some edits. Over here are your undo and redo buttons, as well as your done button once you've finished editing. Down at the bottom, you'll see that there's a button here to change your background. For this example, we would use the black background. I will select the magic wand. And down here, you can see there is a plus, a plus and minus button, which will help you remove the white background from your image. Simply tap the plus, and you'll see that the white continues to disappear until when you go too far, you'll start to lose some information from your image and then you can just add that back in to fill it out. Now that this is complete, we can go up to the top, hit done, and now you'll see that the white has been removed from the entirety of your image. I'll move it behind so that way this chair can come to the forefront. And just like that, we have a beautiful board completed using the cutout tool and magic wand. The next example that we'll look at is with the super eraser. Again, you can see here that we have a wonderful board for a nursery design, and I really love this chair and ottoman, but the background doesn't quite match the rest of the design, so I'd like to remove that. I'll zoom into this image, select the image again, tap our cutout button. This time I'll change the background to checkerboard, and I'll zoom into an area to begin removing this background. Once I have that set, I will select the super eraser and down at the bottom you can see there are a series of settings to set up your brush. You can change the size from very large to very small. You can change the smoothness of your brush from very hard at zero all the way to a very soft brush, which is how I like to work, so I'll keep that up high. You can change the opacity of the brush to almost at zero for a very light erase, all the way up to 100 for a very solid erase. And then there's this button offset, which will actually move your target above where your tool is located. So you can see that when I'm drawing, when I have the offset at 100, it's lifted above my brush so I can see exactly what I'm doing. This is especially helpful if you're using your finger on your iPhone so you can see where you're erasing without having your finger in the way. Since I'm using my pencil, I'm gonna leave that at zero. That way it's erasing exactly where my pen is located. Again, I'll tap my undo, but also note that you can use a three finger tap to redo your last actions and a two finger tap to undo those actions. So to begin, I will set my brush to a large size and I will just begin to eliminate some of this background here using the large brush. Next, I'll make my brush a bit smaller and start to erase the background even more using this medium sized brush. Next, I'll come in with an even smaller brush to start to eliminate the details right around the boundary of the image that I brought in to get a clean cutout. And now I'll continue to do this to the rest of the image. All right, so now you can see that we can just hit done. And now our entire background from that image has been eliminated and erased. 
and our board is ready to be presented. The last example we'll look at is a home office board and we have a table image with a white background and a shadow underneath it that we'll use a couple tools to cut out but focusing on the magic knife. We'll start by selecting the image and then I will hit the cutout button and first I'm going to eliminate the white by using the magic wand and you can see that it still has some shadow left over from the table shadow there that we'd like to remove so I'll hit the magic knife there and I will zoom in to start erasing this shadow here. Again we have our opacity slider so we can change the opacity or you can change the offset again. I'm going to keep this at zero and keep this at 100 and I'll simply go in and outline the bottom of the table and you'll see that the selected area will be automatically deleted by this magic knife and I've deleted it there and now I can hit done and you can see that I've taken away the entire background and shadow from the table and I am left with a perfect cutout and a beautiful board. Thanks for watching and please check out our other how-to videos.